right, don't try this at home. What I'm about to do could result in serious injury. Oh my God. <clears throat> okay. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, guys, and welcome back to Food and Horsepower number two. All right, first off, let's clear this up. This isn't my actual Thanksgiving dinner. I just had Thanksgiving dinner. You know, this is just a small portion of leftovers. I'm not that weak. But now that that's out of the way, in today's video, we got the Mustang behind us, not the Supra. Supra still in interior. That's another story, but it looks super cool though. I can't wait to show you guys. All right. So if you didn't already know, I started a series called Food and Horsepower, where I just kind of do food reviews, usually at places, but this is Thanksgiving, so this is a bit of an exception to have homemade food here. But I'll do a nice food review while talking a bit about cars, a bit about life, just man to man, me to you. But since it is Thanksgiving, I feel like it would be a nice idea if those are some good mashed potatoes. As I was saying, I think it'd be a nice idea if I started off this video with gratefulness thankfulness, whatever, same thing. Uh, being grateful, thankful for anything, even if it's really small in life, it's very important because when you are grateful for things, like I said, no matter how big or small, you're attracting more of that to you, it goes along the lines of manifestation. A lot of books, a lot, a lot of articles, movies, interviews, theories, studies have all proven this, but it's simple. Right. A lot of people wake up and write one thing they're grateful for every day or three things. It puts you in that mindset of attracting good things to happen because your thoughts are focused on things that you're grateful for. So you're going to attract more of the things that you're grateful for. Bottom line. So I just want to share the importance of that. Number one, because first off, like, man, I'm so grateful and I'm not talking about materialistic things. I'm so grateful for my family, having people that support me, my friends. I have a very small circle, so I'm grateful for that. Having a small circle of good friends, quality over quantity. You don't want to have a whole friend group uh, of like 12 people who all suck. Been there in high school. Look, I'm going to I'm going to keep it straight with you. Some of you guys know from a post I made in the community tab, but I myself have been going through uh, a little bit of troubles with some things going on. I mean, I don't really want to get into it a lot, but it's along the lines of a breakup. So, you know, dealing with loss, feelings, stuff like that. But to combat it, and maybe I should listen to my own advice, is think of things you're grateful for. Okay, this happened to me, but I'm grateful for the ability to breathe, eat, live, drive my cars, my family, my friends who will never leave my side will always support me with anything I do. It's more of a advanced way of saying, look at the bright side of things. When you start recognizing that that's how life works, your life starts to get a lot easier. And I often forget, so I gotta remind myself a lot. But damn, did I mention it's like 29 degrees out? I'm like shivering. By the way, you guys like the merch? Hold up, hold up. You guys see that? Got the super on the back. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't launched this yet. If you're wondering, I'm kind of working on that. Let me know in the comments if, you, if you'd cop on a drop. Yeah, anyways, about this food, this mac and cheese is awesome. If I was to rate this mac and cheese right here, it's like, it's got like the crumbles of cheese on it too. So like the breadcrumbs, I guess. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'll give that a eight out of 10. And the turkey, like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not a turkey guy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a chicken guy, I love grilled chicken. Um, I just think turkey's dry. I'm too lazy to get the gravy, but for being turkey, I'd have to say like a seven, 7.8, probably just like giving it an extra boost because I'm not going to compare it to chicken. Like chicken's out of this world. And the mashed potatoes, got to give that a solid nine. I love the consistency. I'd like to talk about future plans and not so much my future plans, but I think it's really important to always be looking at the future, kind of setting a goal where you want to be and setting that bar really high. So for me, for example, I've been doing this YouTube thing for four years approximately. And within the last month or two months, I've gained around 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. So pretty much the majority of my subscribers have happened in the last two months. The way I look at it is if I could do that in two months, I could do that 10 more times and get 100,000. Speaking of 10K, I want to do something real special. 
for 10K, make a nice video, maybe like an in-depth day in the life video. I think that would be cool. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you're enjoying. But as far as the future for me goes, I'm currently doing a lot. I'm doing this YouTube thing, obviously. I work a normal job. I'm out of high school. I'm not going to college yet, as of yet, at least. I don't see myself going to college because I'm working on so much stuff and quite frankly, succeeding at this point. Uh, I options trade in the morning, every morning with my best friend. Still in kind of a learning process with that, but really getting there to the point of consistency. I'm also doing some film stuff on the side. And for the whole YouTube thing, I did just get monetized, so there is money coming in. But for me, obviously it's not about the money, it's just filming has always been something I love. I always grew up watching like FaZe and like all the OG FaZe members back in like the New York FaZe house. Always held up a, a camera when I was a kid, pretending to be like a YouTuber. I, I used to have an old channel, which I'll, I'll do like a reaction video maybe one day, like a reaction to my old videos when we hit another milestone, maybe like 50K. And this is what I'm talking about, about your future. You're like, wait, JT, did you, just say, you just say 50K? Like you haven't even passed 10K. To be honest with you, I'm more thinking of like 500K. It's like a million. I know I know those might seem like big numbers, but I plan and I will go very far with this. Not only with this, but with everything else I'm doing. To the point where I'm going to be doing what I love, generating so much money to where I could just do whatever I want all day. Obviously, I'm working very hard to that point, so it doesn't just get handed to you. I'm getting very little sleep. Balancing the gym with everything is really hard. I wake up at 4.45 a.m. every day hit the gym, options trade, make videos, edit them, also do research on more investing and business ideas, and repeat. That's kind of my life right now, and I want you guys, and I'm not I'm not telling you guys this just to kind of like brag, say, oh guys, look what I'm doing, I'm gonna be so successful. If you're not at this point, I want to inspire you. I almost said expire. I want, I want to expire you. No, but for real, I want to inspire you to get to that point because a lot of kids out here are spending their early days spending a lot of money, always going out, always partying, drinking, getting into bad habits, vaping, smoking, whatever, every day or every weekend. Like, look, if you're anywhere around my age, even if you're older, this kind of applies to any age, but especially if you are my age, which I am 18, by the way, you, you gotta like, these years you're supposed to suffer. I hear this from the most successful people, like Graham Stephan on YouTube, a lot of financial YouTubers, you are supposed to suffer in in these years you might be like why do you want to suffer why would you suffer to be honest there's two options you suffer or you suffer what do i mean by that option one you suffer you wake up every day you go to the gym you do what you need to get done your mental health is low-key depleting because you have a lot on your plate worried about your future constantly okay that's suffering number one suffering number two is all right i'm relaxed I'm gonna get my normal nine to five, which isn't a bad thing, by the way, side note. Normal nine to five isn't bad, as long as it's used in the right way to do the right things with that money, as in investing and stuff. As I was saying, the second version of suffering is you're just relaxed, you're not worried about your future, you're not really working as hard, and then what happens? You're your, your body, you're out of shape. You're not working hard, so you're not getting great things. You're suffering because you're, you're probably at a point where you're close to debt, you're not making money. You can't live the life you want to live, so you're suffering. Your happiness is going to be even lower than if you were to suffer while working hard, if that makes sense. And what comes out of suffering while working hard in example number one is you actually get somewhere. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Like you achieve happiness. If you're doing that and you're hitting it hard, there's no way you could fail. There's absolutely no way you could fail unless you actually die. <laughs> like there is no way you could fail if you're working that hard. So that's why if you're suffering to get to where you want, like in the back of your head, you can be like, all right, like, look, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I have this goal and I'm going to make it if I'm working this hard. But if you're suffering and you don't have what you want, you're not doing anything thing and you're, you're sitting back all lazy out of shape yeah you're gonna suffer and there is no light at the end of the tunnel so that's probably arguably definitely worse so remember that suffer or suffer guys man i love getting into these deep convos with you i feel like i'm talking to like my boys low-key but if you like these drop a comment down below maybe some topics you want me to go over we'll talk more about cars too obviously it's a car channel behind me i have my s197 it's a 5.0 full bolt on Intake, intake manifold, Borla exhaust, American racing headers, SCT tune on 93. Short shifter, just kind of the basics. It's got like 450 horsepower. So, you know, six speed manual, it's really fun. It's a great daily driver. So blessed to be able to drive that every day. Puts a smile on my face. Even when the Supra's gone, unfortunately, uh, not for too long. 
as I said, just getting the interior in. Maybe we'll make an update video going to visit it, show you guys. If you guys could have any daily driver, let me know what it would be. But something like reasonable, don't be like 1500 horsepower GTR because like you're not gonna wanna daily drive that. Like make it something like a Mustang or like 350Z, something along the lines of that. I wanna hear your guys' opinion. But we do have a lot more content coming. Obviously when the Supra gets finished, it'll be pumping, pumping. Uh, I am concerned about like the winter though, because as soon as they start putting salt on the roads for the snow, I cannot drive the Supra at all. That's definitely a worry of mine. But other than that, I don't really have much else. I hope you enjoyed this um, video and I will finish this later. I just got, <laughs> I just got caught up in talking to you guys, but for sure stay tuned for the next few videos. It's going to be really good. I'm so grateful for you guys watching. So thankful. Have a happy Thanksgiving guys. Like, subscribe if you're new and uh, I'll see you in the next video.